Theo Hernandez, the left back at AC Milan. Now, Bayern Munich are being linked with a move for him. And obviously, this is because Real Madrid might sign Alfonso Davies. So now, what do Bayern Munich go do? Start looking for replacements. They are a big club, right? And even though they're not going to want to lose Davies, when Madrid come knocking, it's very hard for a player to say no. So I don't really think that they could blame Alfonso for leaving, but now they got to figure out what are they going to do at left back. Now, Theo Hernandez is a player that I think is arguably just as good as Alfonso Davies. He's a baller. He's tough. Theo Hernandez is tough. He's at AC Milan cooking. And he also used to play for Madrid as well when he was a kid. We signed him from Atletico, I believe. Or maybe I'm wrong. No, we definitely did sign him from Atletico Madrid. But since he's been at AC Milan, he's like a completely different player. Now, obviously, Milan are not doing too well at the moment, right? Like, it's really an inter thing, right? Like, they have fallen off a bit, and they are a really big club. They've had some huge name players um, that went through there. But I just don't think AC Milan at the moment are that attractive. And I do believe that Theo Hernandez would want to leave to go join Bayern Munich, right? A team that's going to actually give him a chance to win the Champions League. A team that's going to dominate the Bundesliga more years than not. And as I said, I think he's just as good as Alfonso Davies. And some people might argue that he's even better than him. Because Theo Hernandez is also solid defensively. And he's very good going forward. Alfonso Davies, his main attribute is his pace, right? Pace and power. And he's able to get forward very well. But defending, he's lacking. I would take Theo Hernandez over Alfonso Davies. And I think this would be an excellent replacement for him if you're Bayern Munich. Because now, the quality does not drop off there. You're going to have a player that can come in and do the same job that the other guy can. Now, this deal is going to cost a lot of money. Because I believe Theo Hernandez has a few years left on his contract. So now, how much are Bayern going to be willing to pay? Because I think Alfonso Davies with him only having a year left on his deal when the summer hits, it's going to cost maybe 45 to 50 M's to get that deal done realistically. Because I also think that Davies will force a move. But with Theo Hernandez, transfer market saying that his value is 60 million. And with him having two years left on his deal, I don't think AC Milan are going to want to sell him right now. So Bayern might have to spend a bag. I'm talking about maybe 75 M's to sell, to sign this guy. But I think it'd be a good signing. He's 26 years old, so he's not old. You can integrate him right into the team, and I think he'd fit right in. What's the problem? I would do this deal if I'm Bayern Munich. What other left back can you get right now in world football that is still of the same quality that Alfonso Davies is? Who knows? But for me, this would be a very good move. Um, and they'd have to take a loss here, though, in terms of they'd have to spend more money to replace Davies than what they got in for him, just because this guy has more years left on his current contract. But I don't really think convincing him to leave AC Milan would be that hard, because I just think that Bayern Munich are a bigger club, or that's debatable, but I would say so. And they're more attractive as well. So, yeah, I think this would be a good signing, though, for AC Milan. Let me know what you guys think about Theo Hernandez in the comment section.